Hello, hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's Occasional Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at uh, the video capturing uh, abilities uh, using MATLAB and I'm using my webcam. So, just to go slowly, I'm going to rather than uh, do a script as I normally do and publish it, I'm just going to run it. So, line 6, 8, and 11 are grand, you should know that by now. So, and there on line 19, line 21, I'm going to find out what video adapters I have available. And then on line 29, just clear again, line 30, I'm going to use the win video uh, video capture. I'm going to say I'm going to get 50 frames per trigger. I'm going to wait five, um, dump the first five frames to uh, get the camera ready. And then here I'm going to do on lines 39, 40, and 41. I'm going to display the frame rates available. On line 43, I'm going to do a figure of my good self from my webcam. And then I'm going to show the movie jumping around on line 47. And then there's a pause. So let's get to there. So just run. So as I mentioned before, uh, I've got the. Uh, Club to run the to list the various fit adapters available. So I just go to there. Yeah. So I have win video available. Uh, the frame rate available at seven and a half frames a second or five frames a second, and it's too big to display on screen. And I have the pause running. Uh, there is. Just my health, just my head appearing, so I'm pop around. Yeah, so that's for the webcam I've seen. And there's a still image, so I can get rid of that. And I can get rid of that. So I'm at a pause, which is on line 48. And now I'm going to start the acquisition. I'm going to uh, just at the first few seconds go and then I'm going to get the timestamps in the data and I'm just going to plot uh, the time and the number of frames and I'm going to stop on line 64. So that happened. It's still going. I can't see them. just sick. So there we are. So there's the frames and there's the time taken. And you'd expect it to be reasonably linear. And you see there, remember we skipped the first few frames just to get that going. So I'm on line 64 now and I've done a pause. And then I'm going to get a montage of the frames on line 67. And I'm going to get some frame info. So I'll just go to here. The frame info, remember on high def webcam 1024 by 1280 by 3 by 50. Now the 3 is the y, I mean YUV. So I'll try and explain it briefly. And I've got 50 frames. Uh, there's the montage. It looks awful now. First of all, why does this look awful? Because I've captured it in YUV space and I'm displaying it on an RGB adapter. So my screen works in the RGB color plane system and then but video will work as wide well. movie, so it looks awful. I mean, you can see it's me, but uh, it just doesn't look right. So, really, why UV is used by you know H.261, H.263, MPEG 1, MPEG 2, MPEG 4, all for reasons of color compression. But that's getting slightly off the point. Now, we can see later on we can record an RGB space as well, so I can get rid of those 50 frames. And so there we are. So I'm just on 972 at the moment, and I'm going to run this again. I get the other thing. So I just want to see what this really these lines do for us here. So I can get the events that type and stuff that. So uh, there we are. So the events that type. There's the events. It's a struct array. The type and data and the type, I did a start, a trigger, and a stop. 
and then I don't quite know where this appears here but anyway we're there so I, it started at the 2nd of June 2014 at 13 hours 36 minutes and 50.8264 seconds and the video stopped acquiring on the, uh, the 2nd of June 2014 at 13 hours 36 seconds and 59.2916 seconds my I had there my frame is 1 by 10 to the 9 and I used up uh, 13 megabytes I think and I had 1 gigabyte available and the last number of frames is 50. So I'm on line 84. I'm just going to stop the video object and close the preview object. I know I've shut it down. So I've done it there, and now I'm going to start all over again on line 97 and line 98, and I'm going to do it in all GG space. So I'm just going to let that run again. Still think I'm paused. I'm quite too sure. Okay, so now we're in again. We're in RGB space, and again we've done event start type and event start data. I've got it all again. I'm not going to explain these numbers again. I left out the preview object, and then you can see me, and I'm in RGB space, and you can see this. I have 50 frames for myself, and you can see my head is moving ever so slightly around. And actually, uh, I know they're quite small, but I'm actually a true representation of myself because I am wearing a blue t shirt, etc. etc. Okay, so I hope that helps. I hope to do a few more video ones, but just uh, as an example of what to do. Sorry for flicking around, and thanks very much for listening. Bye bye.